You can add it to whatever you want in order to trick yourself and believe. Hmm, this actually tastes really like meat. Mm. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna watch Sweet Potato Soul. She is a vegan YouTuber that came out with a video called How to Outsmart Your Cravings. Amazing stuff. Let's have a look. Hi guys. Hello. So I know a lot of people are going vegan. I'm doing like a series of videos that will help you if you are becoming vegan or restarting your vegan lifestyle that will just help you. Basically, I ask people okay. on my Instagram, what questions did you have about going vegan and staying vegan and all those things? And one of the most common questions was, how do I satisfy my cravings for unhealthy food, <laughs> for meat? That's fantastic. So the most asked question is, how do I satisfy my cravings on a vegan diet? Very telling. Just in general for non-vegan things. So. This video is all about that. I'm gonna give you your tips on satisfying those cravings, basically. Help me. The first thing I wanna say is, oftentimes when you're having a craving, you need to drink water. I can say this totally from experience. Yeah, Even now, sense. you know, I drink a lot of water and I've been vegan for a long time. Okay, I said it 10,000 times before here on this channel, water is dehydrating. I know this is mind blowing information. How can that be? Listen guys, when you drink water, all you do is flush out your minerals. It's easy as that. If you would drink raw coconut water, certain juices, then you could use it as a replenishment. However, if you're drinking water, you just flush out minerals, nothing more and nothing less. In this case here, all you're doing is stuffing your gut with water so you feel full. Of course, you're not satisfying your cravings. Cravings are your body signalizing what you should eat. Long time and I eat pretty well, but often I I'll have so. a craving for something and instead of just going for it. For me, it's typically salty snacks like tortilla chips and such. I'll drink water. Fantastic. Yet again, a chips craving, which can be linked to a protein deficiency, a mineral deficiency as well. This is why you crave potato chips because of the salt, because of the electrolyte. You're flushing everything out with the water and then your body craves minerals. Very easy to understand. First, give myself some time, maybe like five minutes after you drink the water. And if the craving is still there, maybe I will indulge, but oftentimes the <laughs> craving has just gone away. I was just thirsty. So mm. often we also think we're hungry when we're thirsty. So learn to differentiate whether you're hungry or you're thirsty. A good way to know the difference is to just keep track of either mentally or maybe like in, on an app or in your phone of how much water you're consuming every day. I keep a... Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Please tell me how much water I need to drink. Listen, guys, if you hydrate your body, you can use some fruits for that, but even raw animal foods can be very hydrating. Obviously, raw milk, but even raw salmon, raw sashimi, and raw meat can be very hydrating for you. Meat is 80% water as well. To believe that you need an app in order to track how much you need to drink is absolutely insane. A large 32 ounce water bottle. Where is my water bottle? I exclusively drink from this water bottle though because otherwise I can't really keep track of how much water I'm drinking. My goal <laughs> is to drink three of those 32 Why? ounce water bottles a day. I always have it with me. Otherwise I don't really know how much water I'm drinking if I just am like drinking out of a cup. So you know if that works for you that works for you just keep track of how much water you're drinking so Why? you can tell if you're thirsty or if you're actually hungry or are having an actual craving yeah fantastic that was the worst advice that i ever heard in my life in the end she's just promoting dehydration and eating disorders if you're hungry just drink water then run to the toilet absolutely insane of course you can have cravings for different reasons sometimes you have a craving because you actually are deficient in some sort of nutrient your body oh, is requesting really? that you put that nutrient into your body or yeah. you have some emotional attachment to such and such food or maybe you actually have a so chemical cringy. addiction to something and that is causing your craving the most common chemical addiction that i know of uh -huh. at least from my own experience in my own life is coffee when i gave up coffee Fair i had enough. cravings for coffee for a 
entire year, it was that. I was that like into coffee. Another extremely yes. common. That is good. On that note, again, I know coffee lovers, you hate me. Coffee is a poison. It is simple as that. No, it is not a health food. No, it is not a superfood. It is a poisonous bean soup. That is all. Every time you drink it, you poison your body and your body starts secreting adrenaline as a stress reaction. That is all. Addiction, not just a craving, but a literal addiction is yes. for cheese. A lot of people what? say, <laughs> I would go vegan, but I cannot give up cheese. Or the hardest thing about going vegan is giving up cheese. That's so it's not cute. that you're just having a craving, though it is a craving, mm. but your body is actually addicted. There's something oh. called casomorphins that are in cheese that attach to the morphine receptor in your brain, okay? No wonder it's so hard to give up. And no wonder just by eating vegan. Uh, amazing, it is 2020 and we still have the same misinformation. Casomorphins have nothing to do with a real morphine. This is not an opiate addiction. You don't have to run to your dealer and get your cheese fix. It is ridiculous. Your body recognizes the calcium, the bioavailable protein, of course, the K2 and all the other bioavailable nutrients that you cannot find in anything but dairy. Dairy is a superfood. Mother's milk, the perfect food for humans. Obviously, to speak of an addiction is just yet again another sign of a total mental disorder, aka brainwashing through veganism. Cheese, you still might crave dairy cheese, but be kind to yourself, be patient with yourself, and know that that addiction will eventually <laughs> go away. When I gave up coffee... The addiction, the cheese addiction will go away. This is amazing, man. And what will you replace it with? With poisonous cashew cheese? With super processed vegan cheese? Is that better for your body? Come on, guys. See, I actually transitioned myself off of it slowly. I still do drink <laughs> caffeine, but now I've replaced my coffee with matcha green tea. Oh, uh, It congrats. still has plenty of caffeine. It gives me the boost in the morning, though I don't have that same dependency on it, and it doesn't give me jitters and make my stomach hurt. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. So she swapped one drug for the other. However, that is not even the point here. We do understand that most vegans are addicted to caffeine because they cannot extract enough energy from their foods. That is not the point. The point is that she asked the question, where do those cravings come from? But she failed to deliver an answer. Guys, if you have cravings for meat, could it be that your body wants to eat meat? Could that be? Think about it logically. Please use your brains. It is very simple. Your body is an ancient machine. It has been around here forever. It knows what to eat. You can trust your cravings. This is why so many vegans crave salmon. What happens after they eat it? They feel normal again. Trust your body. If you are craving meat, <laughs> it could be that you're craving some sort of nutrient in meat or oh, you're most likely craving Maybe. the taste of it. It's the umami taste specifically. <laughs> but luckily, umami is also a taste that's present in plant-based foods. This is so insane. You're so deluded or willfully ignorant in order to promote your channel. After all, veganism is your business. You just crave the umami flavor. That is ridiculous. As I said, most vegans simply crave raw salmon after veganism. So there is no umami flavor in that. However, please rationalize this. Your body has certain needs. There are certain ways to signalize to you up here, upstairs, how to get nutrients, right? So when you put something into your mouth, your tongue, your body, recognizes nutrition. Once it recognizes nutrition, it decides if it should eat it or not. That, of course, functions over the smell as well. All you try to do within veganism is trick your biology. You try to outsmart your biology. This is veganism. You replicate certain foods and you delude yourself into believing, mm, yeah, this could be meat. You trick your body. All you're left with is nutritional deficiencies and cravings. This is why you have to make videos like this. Outsmart your cravings. Yeah, sure, you're gonna outsmart your biology. Vegan logic. Cook with things like soy sauce and <laughs> tomato paste. And you need meat? You need bioavailable iron and protein? 
take soy sauce. And cook with a lot of mushrooms. I also <laughs> highly recommend using something called porcini mushroom powder. It's exactly Fantastic. what it sounds like. And you can add that to soups and to stews. Right. And you can add it to your broth or you can add it to... You can add it to whatever you want in order to trick yourself and believe. Hmm, this actually tastes really like meat. Mm. It is insane. You want meat. Your body wants meat. You are restricting yourself. You are torturing your body. So dressings and sauces and all sorts of things. I use it a couple of times in my cookbook and I reference it a lot because it is such a wonderful way to add umami into your food. But just understand that if you're having a craving for meat, it just might be the umami because meat does. Yeah, it just might be the umami. Couldn't be the iron. <laughs> couldn't be the protein. Couldn't be the B vitamins. No, it's just the umami, you guys. Smoke paprika also. Use smoke <laughs> paprika. Amazing. Best but if you video are ever. This, the sensation and the texture of meat, not only are mushrooms going to be your best friend, they're wonderful, though they're not plants. But anyway, mushrooms are great. Also use lentils. Lentils are wonderful. Blech. I make lentil bolognese sauce, lentil meatballs. Just lentil. carbs. Again, just carbs. This is a vegan understanding of nutrition. Hey, just replace the beef with the beans. It is ridiculous, don't you see? The pasta itself is just carbs. And then you add the lentils to it, what do you get? A little bit of mediocre plant protein with another bunch of carbs. This is nothing, this is no nutrition. You're just trying to replicate animal foods. Eat loaf, lentils are just all around great. Another thing you can do, like in my uh, lentil bolognese sauce, I use lentils, but I also use walnuts. So that combination <laughs> gives that nice like ground meat, you know, texture. Oh uh, uh, yeah, you know guys, that nice meat, mm, ground mm, texture. You want meat, but we're living in scarcity, right? We're living in 2020 where we do not have any access to meat anymore. We have to eat like peasants, like in third world countries. We have to make a lentil bolognese sauce. Because of what? You have all the food abundance in the world, but the West is starving themselves on purpose. Amazing. Basically. And it's so, so tasty. So, and so you tasty. Can also, I don't know if I have a video for this, but another really nice way to replicate it, believe it or not, cauliflower and walnuts <laughs> to make like a taco meat that you can put in tacos, burritos. Fantastic. Cauliflower and walnuts. What do you get? Just fiber, some plant oils and... Nothing, exactly, nothing but digestive upset. Meanwhile, you could have meat. Fantastic choice, vegans. Vegetables, any way you would use taco meat or ground meat. It's pretty good too. Actually, it's not pretty good. It's delicious. Sure is, I believe so you. So we already talked a little <laughs> bit about the actual addiction to cheese that people have. <laughs> Thanks to queso more. Oh, amazing. But how can you satisfy that craving for cheese? <laughs> vegan cheese is like, there are so many different types of vegan cheese. It's amazing. Made out of cashews, made out of soy, made out of tapioca root. There's all different types of vegan cheeses. Uh, all right, let's have a look at this beautiful, wonderful, healthy alternative, vegan cheese. Ingredients, filtered water, tapioca flour, expeller pressed non-GMO, canola and or self-flour oil, coconut oil, pea protein, salt, vegan natural flavors, whatever that means, inactive yeast, vegetable, glycerin, xanthan gum, citric acid, it vegan for flavor titanium dioxide a natural occurring mineral fantastic choice don't get addicted to cheese kits get the vegan cheese instead <laughs> the, kind, the kind that melts the kind that's aged and hard there's little cheese slices any type of cheese you want there's a vegan cheese alternative for that so check those out those are really helpful no also, thanks if you want like a cheesy taste Make sure you're using nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is wonderful. You can make your own vegan cheese sauces. Oh, uh, help me. Vegan cheese products using it. Oh, uh, that's so okay. ridiculous. Now, if you have a lot of sweet cravings, that can be intense. When you're eating a lot of sweets and a lot of sugar, you're gonna crave more sweets and more sugar. And by the way, with all of these cravings, your body's what is bacteria that? in your gut 
it gets used to eating it and certain type of bacteria begin to proliferate. What are you talking about? I have some sort of nutritional advisor. Everybody knows vegans eat nothing but sugar. Actually make you crave those foods. That goes with sweets, that goes with meat, that goes with dairy, that goes with everything. So understand that as you change your diet and start to eat healthier <sighs> or to eat vegan, you got to give yourself you know, be patient with yourself, basically, because it's not just you doing the craving. It's also your gut bacteria. There's wow. a lot more of them than there are of you. So if you're having cravings for sweets, make sure you drink more water. Make sure you don't <laughs> eat artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are shown to make you crave sugar even more. Makes hmm. sense. But eat more nutritious foods and even replace the more processed sweeteners with healthier, more wholesome sweeteners like maple syrup <laughs> and dates. Those are what is wholesome about maple syrup? Please explain. Vegans have no idea what they're talking about. Sugar is sugar. No matter if you wrap it in fiber, no matter if it comes in forms of dates or maple syrup or whatnot. In the end, you're left with carbs. They're wonderful, but you still don't want to eat so much of that either. Uh -huh. I think the biggest thing you can do is to just focus on <sighs> eating more nutritious foods, even <laughs> sweet vegetables and fruits what? are much better than eating processed sweets. So sweet potatoes, of course, carrots are so great and eat lots of fruit. Replace your, your, your ice cream with banana and ice cream, which oh, so, so good. Yes, yeah, so, so good. Obviously, banana and ice cream is better than vegan ice cream. However, if you would eat a natural, real ice cream, ideally made out of raw milk and honey, man, you cannot beat that. That is the perfect food. Super healthy for you. Vegans always have to look for alternatives because their foods are already poison. Eggs. <laughs> and lastly, a lot of people sure. tell me that they crave eggs, especially oh. in the morning, and they can't go vegan because they can't give up eggs. Now, I'm not going to tell you to eat the artificial eggs. I'm just going to recommend Thank you. eat tofu scrambles. They're really, <laughs> really great. And in order to make your... They're really, really great if you want to disrupt your hormones. Fantastic choice. Tofu scrambles taste even more eggy. Use black salt. I admit I don't really like that sulfur eggy taste, so I don't use it. But if you do, black salt is going to be your best friend. Tofu is very high in protein. It's very filling. It's very easy to make, <sighs> just like your regular. Meat. I said it many times before. As a vegan, you need a protein source. Therefore, you choose soy. Yes, it is true. Soy has a lot of protein. Plant protein it is really not absorbable. You don't even absorb 50% of that stuff. Fermented soy like tempeh is the better option, but by no means is it healthy for you on a daily basis. Eggs, on the other hand, you can have every single morning for the rest of your life. It is a perfect food, but with soy, you will just disrupt your hormones. It will lead to digestive upset. It is absolutely terrible. Eggs are just add that black salt. You set it off. You'll be so happy. You don't have to worry about eating eggs anymore. Oh, you don't have to worry. I was worrying so much. Thank you that you gave me the relief. Now I can eat the holy food that is given to us by our overlords. Thank you. Okay, so those are all of my tips for satisfying your cravings. <laughs> if you have any Thank more you. specific ideas about mm. how you can get over your cravings, eat a steak. Leave them in the comment section below. And mm. if you have any questions about specific cravings that you have, I do. Why do you eat? Eat this way if you have all of those cravings when will you wake up and listen to your body you need help getting over let us know in the comment section too because i'm gonna check those out hopefully i can help you and if i can't help maybe someone in the sweet potato soul community can i don't think so i think your butcher can help you out with that so leave those down below as well if you haven't already subscribed to my channel sweet potato soul make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and turn on notifications. Super fake, yay! All right, this is enough for today. The video is long enough. This has been the best video yet for me personally because it just displays how mentally ill vegans truly are. You all have the cravings. You all are depleted. If not now, pretty soon you will be. Your whole life revolves around replicating meat. Congratulations for enslaving yourself. Congratulations for supporting 
supporting big agriculture instead of the bad, bad meat industry. Guys, support your local farmers. All right, but this is it for today's video. Guys, if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver, but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze-dries it for you. It is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.